Hi Diamonds, today's video is going to be all about my Black Friday haul. It took a very long time for me to upload this video because so many things were delayed in packaging and I had a lot of mishaps with all the stuff that I ordered online. But finally everything's here and I'm excited to show you what I got. It's not much and most of the stuff is not expensive, but I'm still excited about it so I hope you'll like the video. Black Friday as well as Black Friday because you know how they have that pre-Black Friday sale and then they have the Black Friday sale so it's all of that in one. So the first one is Bath and Body Works. So I got these on um, the ending of November, November 22nd. These two candles from Bath and Body Works and this is basically the Fresh Sparkling Snow and this one is Winter Candy Apple. Um, as you can see, we burn candles every day because this is just about finished, okay? And I love it. This scent I love the most. I don't plan on um, lighting it that much because this scent is actually a scent from my honeymoon. So it smells just like our honeymoon and we love it. So I'm not going to be burning it that, that much, but I'm so glad that I have to. I need to get more of these actually. I also got these on sale and it's about seven hand washes. I believe one of them was for free because it was buy a bunch and get one for free or get an item for free or something like that so right now we're using this in our bathroom and the rest of them is just basically this here fresh sparkling snow and then winter candy apple again the same scent for my honeymoon and then i have frosted cranberry i have snow kiss citrus and i have this winter wonderland as well as ice white pomegranate. So this whole thing here was actually a set and then I got one for free. So it came, all of this was like $18 for just this pack right here. So the whole um, the whole thing was, was $20, I'm sorry. The whole thing all together cost about $46.64, which is a really great deal because normally one of these by itself is $22 and normally five of the soaps is like $18. So that was a really good sale. The next few items are from Derm Store. And what I got from there was these two beauty blenders. So I haven't um, owned a beauty blender since now. I have the Real Techniques and I have the blender from BH Cosmetics, but I've never owned one of these. I got two of them. Now normally it's $20 for one, but I got both of them for $23 and some change. I joined up with Ebates and they give you a percentage off a discount as well for certain stores. So with all those discounts all put together, I got two of these for the price of basically one. The next company is Coastal Fence that I got some stuff from. And um, I just wanna say one thing about Coastal Fence, like out of all these companies that sent me the products that I bought from them, Coastal Fence stood out the most to me because their packaging was phenomenal. When I tell you everything was so secured, it was unbelievable. And I saved the box actually, just so I can show you guys. Like the packaging is just so cute. Like look at it. It's all pink, like my favorite color of course. And then it has this bow on it. It says Coastal Scents. It actually says Fragile, so they know, you know, not to manhandle your package, <laughs> okay? The first thing is these two eyeshadows. Now these are pigments. Okay, there it is. It's like this rainbow looking glitter. Next thing is this pink pigment rainbow glitter as well. And then I got these two brushes. This is a um, classic blender pointed synthetic brush and this is just a pro blending fluff brush. So I got these two brushes from them. Next thing I got was this fall festival palette. So they bubble wrap the actual product, push it in its box and then bubble wrap the box. So I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. So this is what the palette looks like. I used it already in one of my videos so you guys know what it looks like I got this reveal to palette I'm pretty sure you guys already know what it looks like I'll show you anyway so I haven't used this yet the next thing is this smoky eyes brush set the packaging is nice and gray and then when you open it up it looks like this Oops, sorry looks like this it tells you what each brush is and what it's used for, and then these are all the brushes right here. Also got this palette right here. Now all of these did not come in this palette. I actually made this palette myself. All these pots here are actual singles. They came in 
this little container and I just had to basically pop them in here. So this palette I bought separately and then I bought all of these separately as well. They were about 98 cents on the website so I'm looking forward to building the rest of my palette. Last but not least they sent me a little gift. I didn't even know they were sending these out but they sent me this little quad palette. Excuse my nails by the way. I know they need to be redone but we're going me and hubby's going fishing to Key West this Friday so I didn't want to get them done before the trip because that would just be crazy. But anyway so they sent me this little quad um, eyeshadow sample and I thought it was just so thoughtful of them. I was just like couple cents like yo Next year, boo. Next year. I'm going to see y'all next year. But for everything all together, the total came up to be about 60 something dollars. So the next company is going to be BH Cosmetics. The first few items you guys already seen and loved, which are these here. They're BH Cosmetic New Liquid Lipsticks. I got these. These were $6.50 each when I got them because they had just came out when I purchased them. Now they're about $6 on the website. But you guys already know about these. The next thing here that I got was this Pop Color Art Palette. It looks like this. Okay. Also got this Missy Lynn Palette, which you guys already know and love. So it looks like that. I also got one of their lipsticks called Rapture. Looks like this. I'm pretty sure you guys already know about this as well. It's from Color Lock. Looks like that. And it swatches very, very deep red, like a purplish, deep burgundy. This, which was um, free in my order. These are just some blinged out lashes that I got. This was also a little free brush set that I got with one of my orders as well. So it looks like that. It's just a little travel brush set case. This is another free um, sample item that they gave me as well was this little palette right here I haven't used it yet so I'm not really sure how good it is but this is what it looks like so now moving on to Urban Decay so I got only two things from Urban Decay just because they had um, a certain percentage off so I got their Vice 4 palette I'll take it out really briefly just to show it to you so the bag looks like this straight out of the box it has a lot more colors um, within the stripes here and at the bottom it says beauty with an edge. I think that's so cute. Out of the bag. I just think it's so pretty. And when you open up the palette, it does come with a little brush. But this is what all the colors look like. So, and of course, with that palette, I had to get a Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I got this as well. The full order came up to about $59.36, which is, I think, really, really good because I did pay for taxes, which was $3, but this, on average, is normally about $60 by itself. So to get both of these together, I think that was a pretty good deal. I got one of their MAC NC45 concealers, so I'll show that to you very briefly. I've used this already in one of my tutorials, so you guys see me already use that. Another thing is from Sasha's Cosmetics. I did get a bunch of stuff, but I figured I don't really know much about their stuff except for setting powder, so let me just get one item, which was basically the Sasha Concealer, and this is from the Camouflage, um, this is from the Camouflage Selection. This is in the shade Suede, and it's matte. Um, that's actually what I used to conceal today underneath my eyes, so comparing it to the MAC, it's pretty much the same like they do the same thing it's just that this one is 20 bucks um, and of course I had to pick up another Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup setting powder okay from ColourPop you guys already know that I got these lipsticks and all these shades here I did a video on these shades now they had another sale for like 30 um, percent off or something like that so I had to go back on there again and see if I could pick up a few more stuff so I got these here. This is basically drive-in and it's very, very pink, okay? And this is teeny tiny, as well as I have a lippy called I Heart This and it looks like that. As well as I saw this and I was like, I need to get this because it could work, I'm not sure. But this is their primer. I didn't even know they had a lip primer because nobody really gets it. So I got it just to see if it makes a difference with the lipsticks that I put on from their company. I'm 
with these super shock eyeshadows that I also got from their website during the sale. Um, this is Bay, which is basically what I have on my eyelids right now. It's just an undercoated purple with these blue metallic stuff in there as well. So it's a very pretty color. I also have Cheap Date, which is a nice true gold color. I have Get Lucky, which is a nice gold color as well, but maybe a little higher pigmented yellow undertone to it. I haven't tried it out though, but it looks like that. And then the last eyeshadow that I got were, was the, um, it's called Plaid. It's a green undertone and it's very, very, very dark. My second to last order consisted of some stuff from AliExpress. Um, let me see here. These are the Jessup brushes, okay? This is the 15 piece Jessup brush set. No, I'm sorry, the 10 piece. What am I talking about? The Jessup brush set. And um, these brushes are phenomenal, okay? I'm not gonna do a review right now for you. I'm just only showing you what I got, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say that much for now, okay? Now, the next brush set that I got was another Jess Up brush set, but this one was the 15 piece, and these are even better than the first one I showed you, okay? I am in love, absolute love with this brush set. I can do a full face just using this set. Well, no, I lied. I would need a foundation brush, and that's basically it. The very last few products that I got are basically miscellaneous, only because I got them from beauty supply stores and one thing from TJ Maxx, but I still got them during the Black Friday sale shopping thing, so I'm gonna show them to you anyway. These two Ruby Kiss um, cream, it's called Cream Licious. This one is the Mango Butter, Shea Butter, Cocoa Butter, and it's basically matte. It's like this matte, lipstick this one is called berry in love i'll swatch it for you in a second and this one is the triple butter matte cream this also has mango shea butter and cocoa butter and this one is called hot sexy thing so the darkest shade right here is berry in love and then this one is hot sexy thing they do dry very very matte so i'm really excited to use them last two things that i got was this little compact mirror here At the bottom it says i right here and then when you lift it up it woke up like this and i thought it was so so cute so i'm really excited about this and the last thing i got was this glass nail file i'm excited to try this out as well i've seen it but i'm not really sure if it works Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section. And tell me some stuff that you got from Black Friday. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in the description box below. And if you have any video requests, don't fail to let me know. You can either email me or comment to me down below as well. And I hope you like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.